guys, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Courtney. If you're new here, I'm a homeschool mom. I have nine kids. Six of them stay home with me every day. Um, five of those six are homeschooled and then three of them go to public schools. In today's video, um, I've been thinking about what to do next. Uh, someone, I posted a poll and someone had, only one person had voted on the poll that you guys wanted some foster care content, and I do plan on doing that soon. I just have to think of a delicate way to do it um, because I don't want to give away information about my own children or anyone else's. Um, so that is something on my list that I plan on doing soon. Uh, the first video I might do for that might be like the five myths of <laughs> foster care because um, that one would be an easy one to do without giving you guys information about children or things of that nature. But in today's video, I am going to be going over what we're considering for our, our language arts curriculum for the next school year. Um, I have three of my options over here and there's one option I found online that I wasn't considering until I saw um, a snippet of the inside of the book. It wasn't even one I had heard of. So I'm gonna go through our options over here and what we might choose, what we're leaning away from, and why. And you guys can drop a comment and tell me what you think below. So to start, we'll start, I'll go in order of um, most expensive curriculum to least expensive for anybody that would like to know how much each one costs. So right now we are currently using Language Lessons for Living Education for three of my children. And I guess this is a Charlotte, I know that this is a Charlotte Mason style program. I guess on their website, it says that it's a mastery type program. I don't know that I would agree with that. I think there's lots of picture studies and stuff in here, which is very Charlotte Mason. But I wouldn't say that this is a mastery program. I would say that it is a spiral program with a, a touch of mastery sprinkled throughout um, because it doesn't stay on subjects and topics and concepts long enough for them to be mastered from my experience with this. For example, if you go to lesson 12, uh, you, you have a story. So every lesson starts with a story. This is level three. Okay. <clears throat> you are on the exercise one you're going to copy the scripture they give you. This is a Christian curriculum and memorize it. That is the whole lesson for that day. Um, and then exercise two, day 57, you're doing adjectives. Um, and you're doing adjectives on the next page for that same day. And then the following day, you go to contractions. So you go from adjectives to contractions in the same lesson for the same week. And in my experience, that is not how a mastery program is formed. So if you go to the next lesson for the following week, you're on adverbs. And memorization again, they really hit memorization hard. Adverbs and quotation marks for that lesson. And you don't see anything about adjectives again for several lessons. Several. I mean, I'm three weeks later and we're on homophones, plural words, compound words, paragraphs. I just don't agree that this is a mastery program. Um, to me, a mastery program is something that more looks more like easy grammar. So I have easy grammar over here. In easy grammar, you're on verbs. This is verbs. One, two, three, four. Skip a few pages. Still on verbs. Skip a few more pages. Still on verbs. 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 And 30 pages down the road, we switch to nouns. That, in my opinion, is how a mastery program is created. So the things that we like about Language Lessons for Living Education is that we're familiar with it. Um, I, my favorite thing, which I don't know that it has much to do with language at all other than, than learning how to use punctuation and capitalization, is that 
this is level three. Um, you buy their their version of like a children's Bible and you do a story once a week and the, the child copies the description and the verse and then they draw how they view the story down here. That's probably my favorite activity in this book. But again, I don't know that I would consider that like super language based. Um, this is an all-in-one curriculum, but I'll be honest, we use spelling with it in addition to it, and we use a literature program in addition to this. Uh, I think we're leaning away from using it this year, this next year. If we did use it, the reason I would use it is because I'm familiar with it. Um, it's a great program. If you like Charlotte Mason programs, this one is for you. I have more of a classical teaching style, and my kids learn in a more classical manner. Um, so I don't know that we would be using this. This is also the most expensive. I think it's $35.99 on their website right now. Uh, and for five kids, that's, that's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty expensive for one of our subjects. We're looking at a couple hundred dollars for language. Um, and this is something I would have to pair spelling with and maybe even phonics. They, they hit phonics really hard in the early years, but I've noticed in her level three, I'm not seeing a lot of phonics. Anyways, that's the first option. The second option I just, actually, I didn't just show you the second option, because I'm going in order of price. The second option is Memoria Press's English Grammar Recitation. Um, this would not get us through an entire year. I think this one is $27 on their website, but it is a mastery style program. So you're doing many units. There's, I think there's four units in this book specifically. And each unit you have three topics that you cover for several lessons. Um, this is a, it's a classical style program. So it looks very much like what a child would see at school. But Memorial Press is also a Christian-based program, so you will see Bible verses sprinkled throughout if you are looking for a Christian-based program. Um, it gives you each lesson. There's like a review recitation from the previous, so you go over the, the rules that you studied in the previous lesson. Um, and then they give you two new rules and examples. You get six examples of rules, and then you have to copy. So the first day of each lesson is learning those rules. Then, well, the way I would break this down if you were trying to use it over a whole year. Um, you have practice A, this section right here, practice B, this section right here, and then practice the dictation. So you go back over the rules um, several days later, and then you have a quiz. I would say that that's probably how they're trying to structure this is that one lesson, or you could do one or two lessons a week. Ooh, excuse me, my allergies today. Everything here is green. Let me know in the comments below if everything where you're at is green right now because my van is covered in a nice thick green dust. Um. I use this for my sixth grader, not this level, um, but I use this program for my sixth grader. If I did use this, I don't know that I would use it for my younger children. Um, also, there's no, this is just grammar. You're not getting phonics, you're not getting spelling. And to be $27, I'm just not sure. Um, I do love this program. This is a fantastic grammar program. So if you're looking for a program in addition to something that you're using for a child that struggles with grammar, this is a great one to look at. And like I said, I think it's $27 on their website. The next program we're considering using is Easy Grammar. So I don't know if you can tell, we use all of these right now for different children. Um, I use this one for my sixth grader. So he uses this and the Memoria Press because he struggles so much with grammar. We try to hit it hard. This is a, a mastery-based program, I think, on their website. This is $15 or $17. And then if you want to buy the test booklet, it's five. So this is a pretty inexpensive grammar program. Um, it's boring to look at. There's no pretty pictures or anything like that. But <laughs> um, 
If you're getting that in other subjects, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Easy grammar, my favorite thing in the world, is at the end of every unit, they have a cumulative review. So here's the unit. And then the cumulative review is like, it's several pages. And it's long enough that you're going to see what your child struggles in um, and what they need to review elsewhere. It, it is an affordable curriculum. Um, do what, buddy? I thought there was a kid at my door. It's an affordable curriculum. You don't have to buy the test booklet. I buy the test booklet because my kids are behind and I need to know if they're still struggling on concepts. And this is the best way to do that for me. Um, I'm leaning towards keeping this one, but there was one more that caught my eye um, on Amazon that was $10. So I think I'm going to order one level of it to see and maybe do a flip through video on it. But it was called Step Von Core Grammar and Language, I think was the name of it. And it caught my eye. There, I have not found a video on YouTube over this curriculum. But I did find a link where you could look inside the book, like five or ten pages, and it looks like a mastery-based program from what I've seen. It's $10, so that's super affordable for any homeschool family that um, might not be able to spend $35 on a full language curriculum. It looked like it might be lacking spelling, but that it had everything else. So I am really interested in that one, and if I order one, and flip through it and think that it looks great, that is probably what we'll go with, not because it's cheap, but because it's a good mix of all the ones I just showed you. From what I've seen online, it had pictures, different activities um, for different subjects. So my one qualm with Easy Grammar is that a lot of the assignments are the same assignment over and over, just with different words. And I like to have differentials when it comes to is that the right word yeah yeah go ahead buddy it's on the stove i like to have different types of assignments so if a student or one of my children is not understanding one assignment they can bounce over to another so they can kind of see it in a different way and i noticed with the one on amazon that i had found that it did indeed have that kind of layout so you have like a fill in the blank with these contractions and then over here you have a word search with these contractions that might not be a great example but it's all different kinds of activities you don't get that with easy grammar I also think that's why it's very inexpensive um, you don't get that with the Memorial Press program either you do get that with the Language Lessons for a Living Education, which is something I appreciate about it, is that it's so, every lesson is very different. Um, but those are the four language curriculums that we're kind of, curricula, curricula, that we are considering for the next school year. I will always do a spelling program on the side just because my kids really struggle with spelling, language, grammar, phonics, all of it. So we hit it really hard. Um, and for that, we use Memoria Press up until level three. They only have three levels. And then after that, like I've got one kiddo using spelling workout, but I'm looking into spectrum spelling. And I've got one kid using Spelling UC, which is also really great. So if you'd like to know more about spelling curriculum, let me know. Um, but that wraps up today's video. I'll do a video in the future of what we actually land on. And when I get that other curriculum in the mail, I will do a flip through video for you guys. So thanks for joining me. I will see you on the next one. Bye.